Hi. In this activity, we're going to learn a little bit about constraints. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these four uh, wooden pegs that I made. Uh, they're one inch by one inch, um, extruded three inches long. And we're going to put them together into a shape, you know, a pretty simple little um, like boxed O shape, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, where, where all the ends are flush. It's really simple to do, and let me kind of show you how to do it. In order to put these things together, we first need to be in an assembly file. And I already created an, a new assembly file. And what we need to do is we're going to start constraining these. So I'm going to click on Constraint. And I kind of think of this as like wood glue. If I was going to glue these together, what sides w would be touching? And right now I want to make sure that this side is touching um, the top here. And it gives that little clicking sound, that little um, cowbell so sound, I call it. And I just press Apply. And then from here, I can actually make these sides flush. See how these the icons here show two boxes that are lined up? That's basically what, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking these two surfaces and just aligning them. And we press Apply between every step. I'm going to take this side and this side. They, they already look flush, but you could tell they were off a little bit. Here I just go back to Mate again. And I'm going to basically glue up this side to here. And just apply and then I, I just make it flush. Always, uh, always pressing apply in between. If I press OK, it will kind of like close out the, uh, the constraint box. And I'm not done with it yet, so. The last thing we want to do is we want to apply this one up here. Um, so, I'll, you know, sometimes I'll go ahead and just kind of get it started. I'll kind of lift it up there first. You know, just get it kind of close. Do some of the work for it. And I go right back to constrain again. I'm going to mate that surface with this one right here. And I press apply. Now I'm glad that it did this because a lot of times people will say that uh, the program didn't work properly, that it didn't bring this cube all the way on top. But if we look at it from the front view, we can tell that it did constrain this to the same plane. So it's actually constraining to a plane, not exactly to the surface of a part. And so we can just go ahead and um, flush this over, and it brings it right over. And from here, hopefully you guessed it, we're going to constrain, the, or, you know, flush this side with this side, and apply. From there, we are all done.